Welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey, Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, broadcasting live from Detroit and stretching to the heart of Central Texas here on WCHB 1200 and 99.9 FM with co-host Longhorn. Straight sports talk, no professionals here. Live calling number 313-568-1200. And now, here's your host that never gets it right but is never wrong, Will Sims. What up, what up, Detroit? I'm your host, Will. Welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey, December the 6th, 2012, with my co-host, the Longhorn. What's happening, Longhorn? What's up, what's up? Game time, praying, prime time, right. DetroitSportsJersey.com. All right, all right. We got a lot in the, doing the midst today. Uh, of course, we're going to talk about the firing of Brady Hope. Got a oh, lot, yeah. Got a lot going. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Pay us our money. <laughs> the bill is due. Okay. Um, we got the Pistons on board. We got the Lions on board. If you want to call in and give your comment about the Ferguson, I mean, not the Ferguson, but the um, Eric Gardner situation in New York, you're more than welcome. Once again, the Longhorn want to talk on the Bill Cosby situation. Is oh, that- Bill, the Jello man. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, all right, Longhorn, check this out. We're going to start it off. Detroit Lions, I think this is a big game coming um, Sunday against Tampa Bay. Yeah, I, I think it's a big game. Even though Tampa is 2-10, and 10, the Lions cannot sit back on their heels in this game. You know, because the, the uh, Tampa Bay, the Buccaneers, their defense is not like the defense of the Chicago Bears. Even though the Chi-Town, de- Chi-Town defense is similar, but the 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 Tampa the Bucks defense is a little bit more upscale than the, than the Bears. I think I think what's going to happen is it's going to be a, a it's going to be a wide receiver versus wide receiver challenge. It's going to be uh, Johnson and Tate versus Vince Jackson and uh, Mike Evans. That's what it's going to be. Because you think about it, the offensive line of the Lions, they've been squeaking by, just squeaking by. You know the defense is holding them in. With that eight and four record, it has to. They cannot go down against the Buccaneers. They can't do it. I'm sorry to say, if they go down against them, the, the, the odds for them going to the playoffs is, is looking bleak. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going for the Lions. They got to win. Well, the reason I'm saying it's a big game because um, Tampa Bay came in here last year when the Lions was six and four. And they yeah. beat the Lions, and after that game, the Lions went one and five. So the question is, will history repeat itself? Three one three five six eight twelve hundred. Also, like I said, we got in the midst. We got the decision uh, that jumped off in New York. You know, with a grand jury once again got it wrong, in my opinion, got it wrong. No indictment. I mean, how can you? you know. And you know what? Let me say this also to you know everybody talking about putting cameras on cops, right? How? Right. My thing is, what difference is that going to make when you got the actual footage of somebody being put in a chokehold and he still wasn't indicted? I'm confused. Somebody help me out here. Talk to me, Longhorn. Yeah, I don't understand it either. Not only do you have the actual footage, but you have cops standing there. You have people standing there watching as this go plays out. You know, and you can clearly see that the officer snuck up from behind him, and then jumped on him. You know, the guy wasn't, he didn't make no threatening gestures to the to the officers. And like you said, you got the camera. So, you know how like people say, well, the camera don't lie, the camera don't lie, the camera don't lie. Let's take it back to the Rodney King beating, for example. That camera, it clearly shows he was getting beat down. Which, the once again, the them tape, cops walked too. Yeah, that right. Even the guy, you know, in New York, he he clearly was saying, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Instead of letting the guy get some hit, they already had him down. They could have, they could have, you know, loosened up some of the pressure, you know. But the guy, I saw him pushing his head, pushing the uh, guard in his head into the cement even more, you know. So I, I just don't understand it, you know. Three one three five six eight twelve hundred. My thing is now, Will. If I get pulled over for a seatbelt infraction, I'm gonna get out and lay down on the ground and spread my arms. That's all I'm gonna do, even for a seatbelt. I'm not going for my wallet. I'm not. I'm not doing nothing. If I'm walking down the street and the cop say, "Hey, sir, I'm just gonna lay down and spread my arms out," they can be asking me for directions. I'm just gonna lay down and spread my arms out. 
That's how I see it. I that's, agree, that's, man. And then so, you know what? And then uh, let me say something else. You know, like I said, I know this is a sports show. What uh, we don't try to get political here, but man, this situation right here really had me angry, man, for real. When you blatantly see that this guy is being choked to death, which, by the way, is an illegal hole in New York. That's right. in the, they they outlawed that. So it was, and, and how and how and how did the the uh, the the the, the, the the medical examiner determined it was a homicide. Last, last I look in the dictionary, homicide meant murder. And charges should have been, if, 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 if charges should be brought if um, determined it was homicide. I'm confused. Uh, I'm confused. They changed the rule books on us. <laughs> and also, <laughs> let me say something else, man. Charles Barkley, you's a man. I used to like you, but I can't stand you now. For real, I cannot. He gonna say that they got the verdict right in Ferguson, and racial profiling is okay in Ferguson. I'm confused. Well, well you know, with Charles Barkley, you know how they say even bad publicity is good publicity for some folks. Yeah. Uh, if Charles Barkley was just any old, you know, uh, Tom Jones walking down the street on Bewick and Mac, or uh, or walking around the park at Bell Isle, or down on the uh, Jefferson at St. Clair or Chalmers at Mac or anywhere in Detroit or, you know, even at the Eastland Mall. And he made that comment. People just walk right on past him. But okay. because he's on television, you know, that's why they give I'm, him his airtime to express himself. So Let's go to uh, line one to James in Detroit, see what he has to say about this. James, you're on the air. You know, I have to question, who are these uh, people that sit on the jury? What that's they're right, trying James. to do is send a message to black folks, they hate the president. And as you well know, anytime you got a problem where the racism comes out and it's, it's visible, and that's what it is. But then you, know, you can't blame everybody. Everybody's not like that. Exactly. Well, James, I'm glad you brought the president up. Because I'm going to tell you something. This is just my personal opinion. They know that they can't mess with that man because all hell going to break loose. So they, I, I actually think they're just taking this out on the citizen because we voted him in office. That is correct. And, you know, the thing that who is these grand jury people? You know, you know who they are. It's the good old boy network. Yeah, that. and I would be willing to bet you they're part of that group that took over the state of Michigan in the last election before last, and most of the 29 states in the state of Michigan. And what they want to do is to maintain white supremacy by saying, look, we can do what we want to you. Exactly, exactly. Well, but, but, but you got to think, though, now, James, uh, none, of those, uh, none of those grand juries up in New York were, uh, were black folks. No, I'm no, 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 I'm gonna be. I don't think the one in uh, Missouri was. But you, you know what? I, and I'm with James on this. I think they tell us that, but th I don't really think and believe it was none you, on you that. Think you didn't see no picture of them. You don't, no, they can, they, see, that's one thing they, they can't, can't release. Do that, right. You know, they can't release the names and the pictures and who voted on what in a grand jury, you know, situation. So I'm not believing <laughs> that. Well, we know three in uh, in Missouri were black. Mm. We know three, but they didn't say how many in New York. Exactly. It seemed mighty strange. Yep. Well, they, All said of a nine, they said nine of them were. They said nine of them were. Nine of them were what? Were black. In New York? In New York. Yeah, I don't buy that. I'm, I'm with James. I'm not buying I'm it not either. I'm not buying that at all. I'm not you buying it either. Gonna throw the, you going to throw the flag on that, James? You going to throw the penalty? <laughs> uh, yeah, because that don't even make sense. <laughs> and if it does make sense, where'd they get them from? Exactly. <laughs> Are I, they all John Barkley's? Is, uh, he, <laughs> that's just one. I'm coming back to that idiot. I can't stand him. Well, he, you know, he wants to be governor of Alabama. You know what Alabama's all about. Exactly. And that's him. But I just find it hard to believe. What, what's going to happen? You know, about last year they announced that there are more, more minority babies being born in this country than white babies, which means in 20 years that's going to be a problem. Yeah. And maybe this is their resolve. Because there was no way in that last election one-third of the population voted and two-thirds didn't. Carl robes and figured out how to beat the election. Yep. All right, James, we appreciate you calling in and giving your opinion. Yep, thanks, thanks, James. James. thanks for listening, too. You're Let's welcome. go to line two to Mary. How you doing, Mary? What can we do how for you? you? How you doing, Mary? I want to say, first of all, concerning Bill Cosby, that two wrongs don't make it right. But because I was in the industry of entertainment in New York, I do want to say that the women who are claiming rape have to tell the truth. They were put there to give up sex, 
Mr. Costa did not leave his wife to give them the lifestyle of the rich and famous, number two, so they didn't get enough money, number three. Did he put a gun to their head and say, take this pill, drink this liquor? I'm going to ask you a question, Mary. Why do you think this is coming out now? I mean, I, that's the only thing I don't understand. Why is this coming out now? Because I'm going to tell you something right now. There's no way you can convince me that a black man could rape a white woman back in, them day, in the day and get away with it. I don't care who it was. They, hit, they hung Emmett Till for just looking at a white woman. Well, because he was Mr. Cosby back in that day, whether it was Spanish fly or whether it was a pill called Spanish fly, it didn't matter. He didn't put a gun to their head. And back then, remember in Hollywood, back in that time, he was considered no different than a white man. He had power, he had wealth and money, and he had fame. So any man in Hollywood, be it single or married, even today, play that game. You have the power, you put in young girls, you get the sex from them, you still go home to the wife, but you don't give up your wife's spot for them. And now they're all coming out on the so-called banana boat saying, I was there too. It happened to me. It happened to me. How much money do you want today? Yeah. Yeah. So there's a baby. They just uh, bringing them in like, uh, take your pick, which one you want. And, uh, we're talking. And then now it's like, uh, Okay, so what can I get out of it now? How much check you going to write it for to keep your mouth shut? I just that. don't believe there was a white prosecutor back in that day that wouldn't have tried to convict Bill Cosby of raping white women. I'm just not convinced of that. I'm not no, saying he didn't do it. I'm just yes. saying I don't understand why is it coming out now. Because you have to understand that it wasn't rape. I'm trying to tell you it wasn't rape. He didn't put a gun to the head and say, take this pill. We're going to go in the room and have sex. Those women were bought there for the purpose of sex, whether they were a call girl, a prostitute, or a young girl at the party who knew that, hey, that's Mr. Cosby over there. Yeah, hey. especially you're talking about going to a Playboy mansion. Exactly. Hey. The last one time I went to a Playboy mansion. You can't, I don't think she better get in the Playboy mansion if you're 15 years old. I don't care who you are. Exactly. <laughs> So the point that I'm making, though, they knew what they were doing. They know what they were getting to, but they were hoping to get the spot of Mrs. Cosby, number well, two. Oh, okay. Do you understand what I'm trying to yeah, say? Yeah, I understand what exactly what. That's what's... the game. Oh, That's okay. the game. I'm hoping to, to be, like in be me. Exactly. So now I can get a little check here. Hey, but maybe I'm going to get another call. The call never came through after the sex was done. So now... Oh, it's a shame he raped me. No, he didn't rape you. You gave yourself a willingly. He did not put a gun to your head. He didn't make you take a pill. He did not make you get on your knee and do the thing. Exactly. Be number you two. I agree. You that movie, uh, you ever see that movie Harlem Nights, uh, Mary? Exactly. You try, they thought they had a sunshine on Bill Cosby. They thought they could do a sunshine move on. <laughs> exactly. All right. Okay, Mary, I appreciate you calling in and listening exactly. and voicing your opinion. We appreciate that. Yeah, You're call welcome. in. Keep calling back, Mary. Okay. All, All right. right, let's go to line three and see what Eric has to say. Eric, you're live. Talk to us. What's up, thank Eric? Thank you for taking my call. Oh, thank you. Thank you. As for the Ferguson grand jury decision, um, I myself looked at it, uh, looked at it with a common sense eye, and the uh, decision was correct. And the reason why the, the decision was correct was because you only have um, the officer to listen to because they are of the authority. It really doesn't matter about the witnesses. It's what the officers say because of the authority, uh, and especially once we understand that we are in, uh, I mean, there is a monarch. Hey, 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 let me ask you one quick question. I'll let you take it to the bottom of the aisle if you want to. So you trying to say don't no policemen lie? That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that the authority wins overall. Authority upholds the law and if we if if we don't understand that we are the that's why they call us minority we minority means you don't matter that, uh, so the decision was right because we're not showing uh that we matter because of our actions okay let me ask you that, what, what about you you're saying that the authority trumps trumps the uh trumps the uh truth then so, yeah. so well, I thought you were going to say because they had three independent autopsies 
and the autopsy proved that he, you know, he wasn't shot where the witnesses said he was shot. But you saying just because the police officer said this is the way it happened. So what about in New York, where the video clearly shows that uh, oh, that Mr. Garner was jumped from the back, choked down. What 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 about the authority in that in that part of the picture? What do you think about that uh, decision? Well, that decision was correct also. Oh, it Ed, are you implies, serious? It, it, it still implies what I said uh, in the last statement. He put an illegal chokehold on him. You said he was right? I said authority trumps. We are in a monarch. All right, Ed, we can agree to disagree. I mean, I, pre I, mean, I yeah. respect your opinion. We say in our eyes it was wrong, but let's say this much. Society holds a man called the devil to a lot of atrocities that happens around the world. So if we look at this, these acts and consider them as devilish acts, then we must say the devil was right in his domain. Let me ask you a question. Ed, Ed, do you have a son? Yes. Put your son in that same shoes that Eric was in. I'm not, don't change nothing, nothing. I want you to put your son in them same shoes. So you mean to tell me you would have called in here if that was your son did and said that they was right? He would definitely have to suffer the consequences of something that he do. Because of wow. what he does. Wow. The devil Eric, does. Wait, wait, Eric, you never been stopped by the police, have you? Yes, I have plenty of times. And you and you have never been right, and they've been wrong. Some t you you have people out here that is devilish like or demon like or angelic like. So what I'm about have you is, ever been right? And you know you've been right, but they've been wrong. But because of their police officers, you said, "Well, you know what? I'm I'm right in this situation." But because their authority and they stop me, and I know they're wrong. I'm going to give him a pass. How can we expect a devilish act to be? What devilish act? He just saw, was selling cigarettes. <laughs> what no, devilish I'm not act? About, I'm not talking about his act. I'm talking about the act of the police officers. And you oh, saying okay. that they was right in what they did. They got it right. So it, the devil is only wrong when you see him help a little old lady across the street with no bad intentions. That's when All right, yeah. All right, I, Eric, I'm, th I'm throwing a red flag on that, Eric. I'm, Eric, I'm I appreciate you flag. calling in and listening. I really, I, I, I respect everybody's opinion. I don't judge nobody on their opinion. We can agree to disagree. That's all I can say, and I just, you know, appreciate you calling. Hey, hey, Eric, who's your football team? I don't partake in sports. All righty. All right, thanks, Eric, for calling in. Let's go to line one and talk to Jeff on the east side. What's, What's happening, up, Jeff? Jeff? Hey, good afternoon, fellas. Let's bring it on back to sports and those lines. There we go, exact. baby boy. Talk to me. Talk <laughs> to me. I hope the young lady that's usually with you all is doing well as well. But when it comes to the Lions, you know, I knew with the Arizona game that they wasn't going to beat them. I want to ask you, when's the last time the Lions beat a former quarterback of theirs? All of their former quarterbacks come back and do them. Oh, yeah. They, 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 you the know, one that ran out of bounds. He, remember, he ran out of the end zone. I know you're talking pass. about, yeah. <laughs> he went over to San Diego, and he did us. That's right. Do you see the Lions no, making the playoff this year, it. Jeff? Uh, no, nah, they lose that game. That's it. No playoffs. Well, you know what? That's I'm going to tell you one guarantee. I know there's nothing guaranteed in life but death and taxes, but I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm a, I'm talking that air. I mean, unless something dramatic happened, that Green Bay game at the end of the season is a loss because it's not going to be the same Green Bay team you played earlier this season. Aaron Rodgers is hot. He's smoking hot out there. Well, I got to I gotta agree to disagree with you on that there because I think they're going to win. I'm, I'm still looking for my 12-4 and four record. <laughs> but if they lose today, I'm about to adjust my my way of thinking. No. Uh, Jeff, no. so you don't see them hey. making the playoffs, Jeff? I just don't see it. Not with them losing that game. Let me ask you a question. How they do you feel about the quarterback? How do you feel about Matthew Stafford? How do you do you think this he should they should trade him, let him go? He's not proving this. I mean, come on, he's six years into the league now. Well, I'm thinking they should maybe test his eyes a bit more often. You know, you remember with Grandison? Pretty much right. when the Tigers traded him, the oh. New York sent him through that physical. They tested his eyes and carrying on. He almost made MVP. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. But see, you know what's going to happen, though. They're going to trade Stafford. And just like you said, <laughs> Jeff, he's going to go on another team and come back and whoop up on him. <laughs> yeah. That's hey, have happen. a good one, fellas. All right, Jeff, thanks for calling in. Once again, we Let got a go. lot in the midst. We got the New York situation. We got the Ferguson Lions, Tigers, Pistons, whatever. Call in 313 568 1200. We're about to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back after a word from our sponsor. Listen up, parents and all high school seniors. Detroit Sports Jersey is giving away a $300 scholarship. And all you have to do is write an essay explaining why you should win. Send your 1,000-word essay to info at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Essays will be accepted from October 1st, 2014 through April 1st, 2015. Apply for the Detroit Sports Jersey Scholarship today. Winners will be announced Saturday, April 18th, 2015. Good luck, high school seniors. Then we have some dude call in about the uh Hold Ferguson. on, Longhorn. Yo. We, we paying bills, baby. Slow it down. Go ahead, on voice. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by www.fntsydraft.com. Do you play daily fantasy sports? Join today at www.fntsydraft.com. All right, welcome back to Detroit Sports Jersey. I'm your host, Will, with the Longhorn. Okay, Longhorn, what was you talking about? What's up? What's up? I'm talking about the playoffs, college playoffs. All you right. see Oregon put you see Oregon put the whooping on Arizona. Speaking of college uh, football games, we got a lot on the hopper. Today. I mean, a lot of games today. We got Alabama versus Missouri, Missouri for the SEC championship. Florida versus Georgia Tech. Wisconsin uh, versus Ohio State. So a lot of big games today. We got a lot going on. Like I said, we got the. Uh, you want to call in about the New York situation? Was it right? Was it wrong? Eric said it was right. They got it both right. Charles Barkley. He said racial profile. Island is okay, you know, and I don't understand why he say that because you don't have both sides of racial profiling where they wearing saggy jeans or a suit and a tie. Um, so I'm confused why he's saying it's okay in certain situations. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go to Stephanie on line one and see what she have to say. Hello, Stephanie. Thanks for calling in. Hi, Hello, Stephanie. I want to come in on the Bill Cosby um, fiasco. Go ahead, talk to him. My thinking is that Bill Cosby is being done like this because he decided that he was coming back to uh, TV. And so they know that uh, if Bill Cosby says he's coming back to TV, we're going to watch him in droves. We're going to DVR the other programs and watch him in real time. And it's all about money. Bottom line. The bottom line is advertising and money. And the reason why I say that is because I heard a promo about We TV, Uh and on the promo they were saying that they were going to give people gifts to watch Tamar Braxton's uh, show. So then I thought, well, maybe this is all about money, because if Bill Cosby comes back, there's no way we're going to not watch him. And so everybody's going to watch watch Hustable. (laughs) <laughs> right, right, right. You know, that's what I'm saying. But see, that's a so, different spin on what everybody else said. They was trying to, like, you know, divert our attention away from the um, grand jury decision. No, no, this happened so, previous to the grand jury decision. No, 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 I'm saying by coming out now is what I'm saying. By, yeah, I know it happened way before that. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand why it's coming out now. It happened in the 60s and the 70s. Yeah. I don't understand why. That, like I tell people, I, there's no way you can convince me that this black man could have got away with rape. And a white woman back in them days when they hung Emmett Till for just looking at one. I'm sorry. I don't believe well, I, it. I'm, I'm, I'm like Stephanie. I, I think you're right. I think it's, uh, you know, everybody want to see old Cliff Hustable come back, Bill Cosby, the Jello man. You know, because right. he, 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 he has a charisma. Right. And it's all about advertisement. And they know that if, he, if he's on TV, all of our regular programming that we watch faithfully every day will be DVR. What they yeah. don't want you to do is DVR it. They want you to watch it in real time because of the commercial. Yeah, DVR, so, you can skip commercials. <laughs> right, you, you can know what, skip commercials. You know what, speaking of, uh, I'm glad you brought that up as far as advertisement and stuff. And um, I know a lot of people out here don't like Steve Harvey. So, but I listened to him the other day, and he said something very interesting. He said that the reason, because he said he'd be in these board meetings with all these billionaires and these companies and stuff like that. And they told him the reason that, like, he's using his Steve, you know, the Steve Harvey show we had on with Cedric the Entertainer. He said yeah. that the reason that they don't, Advertisers don't spend a lot of money on black TV shows because they know we're going to watch like 
football games, basketball games. So they rather put it, they spend their money there, and they basically getting two for one. Instead. Yeah, well, maybe ev- maybe everything they think isn't correct. Yeah. Now, now yeah. about Charles Barkley. Oh, Charles cool. Barkley is what an overseer looks like. There Charles you go. Barkley, yeah, yeah. Charles Barkley needs to keep his mouth closed because the mind is a terrible thing to waste. Hey, Stephanie, you know, you, you, know, you know what I did some research on him, Stephanie, and I found this out, and I was shocked when I read this. You know the Not reason? The DUI, he, is it? No, no, no. Listen, you know the reason he said he don't like he don't date black women because black women smell like dogs. I could not believe that. What? Yeah. Say it again. Charles, you know, do you remember? Yeah. Do you remember when Charles Barkley was pulled over down south someplace because he was drunk driving? Yep. Yeah, when his DUI. butt was dragging the sand, we stood by him. But I'll tell yep. you something. When Charles Barkley outlives his usefulness, he's going to be put on the list like Bill Cosby and everybody else. They're going to kick him to the curb. And you don't, so no, all we got to do is wait. Gonna, hey, Stephanie, yeah, you know what, Charles? going to come out the list on him. And let me tell you something else about Charles Barkley, too, right? He thinks because he's rich, he's black, and he's married to a white woman, are they giving him a pass? My man, they're not giving you no pass. President you know, Obama done accomplished more than ducking a basketball, and they still look at him as the end word. So if you think just because you ducking a basketball and on TV talking about that you accepted into the good old boys club, I'm sorry. You went for a rude awakening, my man. You okay, <laughs> but this is my last thing. The thing that upset me with Charles Barkley was his comments about Derrick Rose. And, there, and oh, then he yeah. said that, yeah, we rich, and we live in these nice houses, and, and we got these good jobs. That sounded just like somebody said, Master, you sick. Master, we're going to be all right. <laughs> so, and I thought that he was wrong because the young boy is worried about his future. And Charles yeah. Barkley should have stood by him on that. No, instead he's saying get out there and play basketball whether you're broke down or not because you're getting paid. You know so, thing, like Stephanie, I said, Charles Barkley is going to get his. You know another thing about Stephanie, about these older athletes? They hating on these younger athletes. Cause, and don't get me wrong. I, I know Charles Barkley, Richard, all that. But they wasn't making that kind of money that these young players are making. So they hate that. They feel because they was the superstars and, you know, the brand name, household name, that they probably should have been making a 10 to 12 to $15 million a year. And they wasn't back in that day. And but I you think know what? Their, their time has passed. What they should be doing is mentoring these young cat, these young exactly, players. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Because be because just just longevity is 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 going to take. I mean, they weren't going to play that long anyway. They're going to be replaced by somebody right. younger. All so right. if they're That's jealous right. of that, too bad for them. But like I said, Charles Barkley will get his now. About the the this, the guy, the previous caller that said that uh, everything authority does is right. I feel sorry for him because he's yes. given up. Oh, and I dude. ain't never going to give up. All right, Stephanie, we appreciate you listening and calling you, in. We're going to have to get up out of here. Uh, okay, tune in bye-bye. next Saturday at 3 p.m. Detroit Sports Jersey live every Saturday. Longhorn, give me your pick for the um, Lions game tomorrow. Oh, I'm going with the Lions, brother. Let the Lions roar. All right, Lions roar. All right, y'all. Coming up next, chit-chat from the Cat House Shop Talk. With your girl, Crystal Mayo. I'm quite sure she got, has a hot topic for you guys to listen to. Like I said, join us every Saturday, 3 p.m. right here on WCHB 1200 and 99.9 FM. Until next Saturday, I'm your host, Will, with the Longhorn. We up out of here. Peace, Detroit. Thank you, listeners from Detroit to Central Texas, for joining us here live on Detroit Sports Jersey with your host, Will Sims, and co-host Longhorn. Every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern, right here on WCHB 1200 AM and 99.9 FM. Visit us at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk. No professionals here. Have a great weekend.